Hello everyone, I'm back again. It's me, Tina Chikura. How are you doing? Happy New Week. So, we're still talking about walking in the Spirit. Remember I told you that we're going to come back to this scripture, which is Galatians chapter 5. Last week we read 16 and 17. See, I say then walk in the Spirit. That is supposed to Paul talking to us. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lost against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish, you know. See, because the things that you wish, like I said last week, the Bible told us that the heart of man is desperately wicked. So constantly what the heart is wishing is definitely something of the flesh, something that does not go in line with the will of God, something that God does not want. You know, have you ever asked yourself that why is it that every time I read some things in the Bible, I mean, I asked myself that, like there are some things that I know that I do or that happens, you know, around me. And then I eventually see it in the Bible that God does not like it. I be like, okay, why is it that everything that I do that is not good is what actually is in the Bible that God says we should avoid. So that is what the flesh does. And that is what the devil does. Introduce those things to you. And that is what the heart, you know, where the heart constantly drifts to and what the flesh want to do. And today we're going to look at those things that you know the flesh wants you to do and the spirit of god is not it's against it so and we, so i'm going to last week we read 16 and 17 so i'm going to read from 18 now he said but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law now the works of the flesh are evident we are talking about the loss of the flesh which are adultery are you listening he says adultery fornication uncleanness lewdness idolatry sorcery hatred contentions jealousies outbursts of wrath selfish ambitions and it says uh, dissensions heresies envy murders drunkenness right reveries 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 i don't know what it is and the like of which i tell you beforehand just as i also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god okay so i know i know you're already saying eh, Tina, you want, do you want to tell me that you don't see yourself doing one of those things <laughs> hey, slow down so let's take some of them you know that we know because you may be, you may not be doing one or you're doing another i know when we call adultery some people say ah no, i'm not doing I'm, I'm not part of those things but what this place is simply listing them out so that you check yourself you check yourself which one are you drifting into which one is your flesh leading you to do is it I don't, I don't, I mean, is it adultery? Is it fornication? You know what is fornication, you know what is adultery, and you know what is, I think, lewdness, you know. <laughs> if I talk about lewdness, now some people will want to stone me, you know. Lewdness is something that is not, that is not, um, how do I put it, something that is um, not decent, you know, probably sexually undecent. In, not decent, you know. Sometimes if you look at the way we dress, we dress provocatively, want to yeah, 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 yeah. You're putting another man into trouble, you're putting people into trouble. You know, you look at all those things, is it hatred? Do you have hatred in your heart? I'm not saying it will not come. You know, trust me, some people will do some certain things to you and you will see yourself hating. And be like, what is wrong with this person? And you see yourself, you don't want to have anything to do with the person. When these things start to come, the Bible says we should walk in the spirit so that we will not fulfill these things that we are mentioning because every day they are dead at our door, knocking at our door. But are you going to open to them? The spirit of God in you will help you to shut your door against them. The Bible, God told um, um, Cain, he said, for sin lieth at your door. You're going to be attentive to the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, before this thing can overshadow you, before it can overtake you, the Holy Spirit must have warned and warned and warned. And when you refuse to listen, maybe he steps aside and then you begin to do those things. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. If you find yourself in any of those, maybe jealousy, you're just jealous of someone. If you admire something in someone, rather than being jealous of them, why don't you pray for God to elevate you, you know, to help you to be like this person. If you so love them or even to be more than this person you 
pray that prayer instead of jealousy but because before you know it jealousy comes before you know it envy comes before you know it hatred comes you know all these things they just the moment you give one chance another will come it's in chain right the devil knows that you are weak already because you're allowing them to come before you know it your heart your whole life spiritual life is all junk but the spirit of god in us will help us to do away with them or the spirit of god in us will bounce them off and i pray for you that the holy spirit will help us and give us the ears to hear him when he speaks and give us the eyes to recognize when these things are coming our way in the name of jesus and if they are already in you may the blood of jesus flush them out of your system because these things are very dangerous apostle paul told us that if you have every all, all these things in you you cannot see the kingdom of god and apart from the kingdom of god you can't see you know, do you know the energy it takes to hate do you know the energy that it takes to, to be jealous of someone? You will not sleep when you see that you are not happy, you are sad and all that. You won't even have a healthy spiritual life. So you need to get rid of this so you can enjoy your life on earth and also enjoy your life in heaven. May God bless you and may the Holy Spirit help you as you go on the journey to flush out all these fruits of the flesh in Jesus' name. God bless you and God bless you. I think it's still I love you.